Joining us now, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. Pam, let's get your take on the legal aspects of this. Um, th there are certain rules that must apply in a courtroom. Hearsay evidence is not admissible, for example. Uh, withholding exculpatory evidence, uh, that is not acceptable either in a courtroom. Uh, both seem to be acceptable here. Your thoughts on both those issues? Well, first, Sean, that's why people don't trust Congress, because of show trials just like this, just what we experienced in impeachment one and two. This is continuing on. You know, the, um, the committee, the select, unselect committee, they didn't want to hear these witnesses because they don't want the truth. And, you know, they put on this young woman in her 20s who had been unemployed for over a year. She reached out to me because she was very excited. She was moving to Palm Beach to work for the president. She loved President Trump well after the election. She loved him. She, then I, she I didn't get the job. I have a report tonight that she worked for President Trump in, in the D.C. Uh, post-president office, post president office. She reached out to me. Because yeah. she, she reached out to me, Sean, because she was looking for a place to live in Florida. She was very excited. This is a young 20-something-year-old, did not have financial resources, had not been employed, and was excited about moving to Palm Beach. Then her contemporaries told the president that she could not be trusted. She was a leaker when she was in the White House, and she didn't get to go to Palm Beach. She reached out to me again, and she was very upset. I didn't understand why people would say that about her. The woman I saw yesterday on the stand was not the same woman. Now I understand. She was well rehearsed, and in a court of law, she would have been cross examined. Were you promised something for your testimony? A job? Money? Did you receive immunity for getting on the witness stand? So much more. How do you recall every detail, every detail well, of this testimony? You would think if, you, if she worked for Donald later? Trump. We, we should know that. If, she, if there was any other financial uh, transactions, we should know that, too. Uh, I heard the exact same things you had heard. Uh, Greg Jarrett, from a legal standpoint, your take on all this. If a story sounds too fantastic or outrageous to be true, it's usually not true. That's especially the case when information such as Hutchinson's, has been laundered through several individuals. At bare minimum, this is triple hearsay. It's probably quadruple hearsay. A guy told a guy who told me, and now I'm telling you the committee. Hearsay is inadmissible. A double hearsay is a joke. Triple hearsay is a farce. Anything beyond that, you need to get your head examined. Uh, but there's nobody on this committee, because it is highly partisan, to ask any challenging or penetrating questions on cross-examination. For example, isn't it true, Ms. Hutchinson, you weren't inside that SUV with the president. You didn't see what happened. You didn't hear what happened. So you really have no idea what occurred. As for her other allegations, statements she allegedly heard well, Trump let me make, add, isn't Greg, it let true me just you just... Now, wait a minute. Isn't it true you just said that you were in the general vicinity and you overheard the statements to the effect of? Isn't it true you don't know precisely what how, was said? That would be a decent cross-examination. How do okay? they ignore that Donald Trump, according to four out of the five people in the room, the fifth person was General Milley. I've not been able to interview him, but someone close to him did assure me that, in fact, conversations about the safety of the Capitol did come up between him and President Trump. The fact that the president authorized guard troops in the days leading up to sure. the 6th, why didn't they tell? Well, that would be exculpatory, wouldn't it? it? Wouldn't that destroy the entire narrative this committee is trying to push on the American people, Pam? Yes, it would, Sean. And, and, and as Greg said, none of that would have been admissible. And if, and if this is a show trial for the American public, that's one thing. That's what they've done since Donald Trump has been in office. But if this is a, a cue to Merrick Garland to prosecute Donald Trump, none of this would be admissible. Merrick Garland knows that. The Justice Department knows this. It's all hearsay. And now that these Secret Service agents are coming forward to saying, didn't happen, did not happen, we want to testify. We should have been heard earlier. We weren't. That's why you now can't that rush they have judgment. that, her credibility is right. shot. Nothing about, that she could say could be true. They, no one would trust have, it anymore. 
20 seconds, Greg, the exculpatory evidence about the troops uh, being authorized by the president. Yeah, absolutely. Any responsible committee uh, would have investigated that. One other thing about Liz Cheney, she could have just picked up the phone and talked to the people who actually saw and heard what happened and would have been told, according to Fox reporting, that it's all untrue. Maybe she already knew it was untrue, which means she was hiding exculpatory wow. evidence from Congress and the American well, public. I, I hope they sent out preservation letters for every person on that committee and every staffer on that committee, because there will be a new Congress in November, well, in next January. Thank you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.